Hello everyone and welcome to Elvie's Art Den. Today we're going to be discussing how to achieve this nice seamless join when working in the round for amigurumi. Usually for amigurumi we would just work in the spiral to avoid any kind of seam, but that can create a curved line to any of our mid-row color changes. So in order to make sure that they line up row to row in a nice straight line, you can use this seamless join to make sure your rows line up perfectly. As you can see, from the back of the work, we do still have a join here, or rather a seam at the joins. Um, and it's actually a quite dramatic curve compared to how the seam would typically look. But it is completely displaced to the back of the work with this method, so you can't see anything from the front. Let's go ahead and get into how to achieve this. I've got a magic circle started here with eight stitches so I can get a nice flat circle. You can start with however many stitches you want and uh, you can also start with a chain two and working into the first chain, however you choose to start your circles. The first loop here that's currently on your hoop or on your, uh, on your hook, we're gonna go ahead and lengthen that a little bit and we're gonna remove your hook from your work. I have a stitch marker in the very first stitch here I'm actually going to remove that and I'm going to place my hook backwards through the stitch. I will then re-grab my working loop, go ahead and pull that snug against the hook and then pull that backwards through that very first stitch there. And that's how we're going to create the join. I don't actually have a proper name for that. I've personally been calling it a backwards loop slip um, just to make it easier. But if anyone knows of the proper name for that, please let me know. I'm going to replace the stitch marker into that very first stitch that we worked to mark the beginning of our row. And a lot of other methods had you do this backwards loop slip, then chain one, and then just continue going. But I found that that actually still gave me quite a bit of a seam and I didn't like that. So what we're going to do instead is do not chain one, just keep your loop as it was on your hook. You're going to skip the very first stitch and any stitches that are supposed to be worked into it on that round. We're going to add them back in at the end. So we're going to skip that very first one. We're going to work into our second one and do whatever stitches should be worked into the second stitch of the round. In this case, I'm just trying to expand up. So I'm just going to do two SCs in each stitch and I will meet you guys back at the beginning of the round. Okie dokie. I'm now back to my stitch marker. I do only have 14 stitches in my circle though, and I'm supposed to have 16. And that is again, because we skipped that very first stitch there. So now I need to work in the first stitches of that round back into that first stitch in order to finish this off. Again, since I'm just expanding this circle, I'm just going to work the final two single crochets into that very first stitch there to complete my round. As you can see, I now have a full completed round. And we are going to join the exact same way. Lengthen that loop a little bit, remove your hook, insert it backwards. And this can be a little tight at first. It will loosen up the further you get along into your work, but the closer you are to your magic circle, I have found the tighter the stitch can be. Go ahead and replace your loop, make it snug, and then backwards loop slip through the very first stitch. There we go. And then make sure you replace your stitch marker so that you always know where the beginning of the round is. And again, just like last time, skip the very first stitch, the one that your stitch marker is in, do not work into that one, work into the next one. Skip the first stitch of your pattern as well, add it to the end so that you can have your full round, and then you're gonna do that backwards loop slip to join each round. And that should give you your nice seamless join the whole way around. I hope that made sense to everybody and helps everyone with their mid-row color changes and achieving some seamless joints. Have a wonderful day crocheting. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button to uh, keep track of any future tutorials. And I hope everyone has a wonderful day.